start of the second season of everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's our host, Sweet Mark. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to Tic Tac Joe. As Jay said, uh, our new season underway now, and we have an exciting match between two people you're going to meet right now. Jay, will you handle the introductions, please? My pleasure, Wink. Our current champion is a commander in the Los Angeles Police Department. He enjoys jogging and all forms of physical fitness. Meet Ken Hickman. <laughs> His opponent is a housewife and mother who is married to a Marine Corps pilot. Meet Barbara Volk. Ken Hickman, of course, is uh, kind of happy about, well, a lot of things these days. First of all, he's won $1,700 around here, and he's uh, just been promoted to the rank of commander, as uh, Jay said. Ken, congratulations on both the points. Thank you very much. How do you feel about all this? Well, I'm pretty happy. A little yeah. anxiety right now, but... Uh... I left something out in your introduction. What was it? I just got married about two and a half weeks ago. Right. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Oh. Happy newlywed. Congratulations on that point, Kenny. Thank you. And there's his lovely bride right there. Anya. I salute the bride. Ken, good luck. Barbara, how are you? Just fine, thank you. Barbara, as he said, is a housewife and mother married to an officer in the Marine Corps. And I just noticed, it didn't occur to me when you guys were here on the last show, that we have Ken and Barbie right up here in front of all of us. Can you believe that? How about that? We've always wanted to see them in person. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Ken and Barbie. Nice little applause for them. Not necessarily in that order. Hey, good luck. Let's take a look at the categories we're going to be playing with in this game. Ken and Barbara, ladies and gentlemen, here are the subjects. Opera, country music, cars, Great Britain, symbols, one-word titles, the 70s, spelling, and nicknames. Now, on the last show, you had tied once, and you were about to start your second game when we ran out of time. Now, Barbara, as you know, should you even lose this tie series, you'll still get $250 for each tie. Sort of a little Great. bonus over last season. So, Barbara and Ken, let's begin. And, Ken, as our champion, you go first. Well, let's try uh, the 70s. The 1970s, the subject, and we start with a $1,900 pot. When 36-year-old Muhammad Ali defeated this man on September 15, 1978, he became the first man to win the heavyweight title three times. Name the man Ali defeated. Oh. I know his name like I know my own. I Leon Spinks. Yes. Leon Spinks. Middle block. Doesn't drive too well, but boxes <laughs> very, very well. Let's move the categories around, and uh, we'll go back to you, Barbara. Do you think he'll come after me for saying that? <laughs> well, it's a fact. Listen, Barbara Select. Let's try spelling in the lower left. Spelling in the lower left, all right. Here's your question, Barbara. This word is a real gem. Spell hyacinth. Spell hyacinth. H-Y-A-C-I-N-T-H. That's right. Good for an O. Spelling word, you got it. Let's move the categories around and add $200 to the pot. Pot's up to $2,100, Ken. Trying to put a first X up there in this game. I'm going to have to go in the middle with the 70s again. Okay, the 1970s, an important center box, a little harder, uh, but it's worth $300 to the pot. During the 70s, Elliot Richardson held four cabinet posts under two presidents, Ken. First, name one of the two presidents. And then two, name one of the four cabinet posts he held. I'll give you a few seconds to think. Again, during the 70s, Elliot Richardson held four cabinet posts under two presidents. Please name one of the two presidents. Nixon? Yes. Ford was the other. Name one of the four cabinet posts, and we'll put an X in the center box. Justice. No, that's one that he didn't... Can he be uh, more serve? specific, Wink? Pardon? Can he be more specific? All right, Justice be, Department. Pardon? The Justice Department, that's what I said. More specific. More specific information is needed for your answer. Do you have FBI? No. no. Secretary of Defense, Secretary. Uh, Attorney General, Secretary of Health, Education, and Welfare, and Secretary of Commerce. Secretary of Commerce. So, let's move the categories around once again. $2,100 remaining in the pot. And Barbara, we turn back to you. Let's take 
like uh, the 70s in the lower right. Okay, again, in the 70s. Barbara, when former cheerleader Elizabeth Hallaby of the United States married this Middle Eastern king in 1978, she became Queen Nur al Hassim. Name the country over which this queen now rules. Jordan? Yes, that's right. So we put an O there, another $200. The pot takes it to $2,300, and we'll be right back to continue. This game, Ken, I'd like to point out to you that so far you've defeated one opponent, defeat four more for a total of five, and Jay Stewart, what's he going to win? It's a brand new car! The all-new Buick Skyline! Okay, let's move the categories around now and get back to this game with $2,300 in the pot. And let's see. Ken, it's your turn, isn't it? Once again, the 70s. <laughs> we can't seem to get away from the 70s. I'm not sure I would want to, but let's see how you uh, do with this question, Ken. Going for a block. In April 1978, a South Korean rice broker told the House Ethics Committee how he gave 31 congressmen almost $850,000 in gifts and contributions. For a block, name him. Park? Yes, Tonson Park. Good for a block. So we put an X there, $200 more for pot, let's jump in the category. Barbara, we're playing for $2,500, and with every answer, that pot gets bigger. Well, we'll have to try cars in the upper right. Going to go for cars this time, all righty. Barbara, the American military used the term Jeep to designate any general purpose vehicle. Name the automobile manufacturer that uses the word Jeep as a trademark. AMC? Yes, American Motors. AMC. So it's good for another O, another $200 in the pot. Let's shuffle them around again with five subjects remaining in those boxes, Ken. Well, I'll go with the 70s one more time. Back to the, the 70s in the pot now. $2,700, Ken, going for a block. After rebels from Angola attacked neighboring Zaire in 1978, Jimmy Carter was prompted to criticize the military presence there of a Latin American country. For a block, name this country. Cuba? Yes, for a block. Put an X there and let's shuffle the categories again. In the pot, $2,900. Barbara. I've got to go with nicknames in the center to win. All right, for a win in the center, nicknames. Answer this, you will win $3,200, Barbara, and you will become our new champion on Tic-Tac-Toe. Here's your question, the subject nicknames. Barbara. An American tourist would have to travel through the Wolverine State in order to visit Breakfast Food City. First, what state is nicknamed the Wolverine State? Secondly, what city is nicknamed the Breakfast Food City? Think about that. Barbara, you're going for a win and $3,200 in the championship. What state is nicknamed the Wolverine State? Michigan. That's correct. To complete the answer and to become our champion, what city is nicknamed the Breakfast Food City for $3,200? All I can think of is Niagara. <laughs> That's in New York. No, Battle Creek, Battle Michigan. Battle Creek. Battle Creek, Michigan. So, Ken, you're still alive. <laughs> yes. Don't you forget to eat a bowl of cereal first thing oh. tomorrow morning, oh, Ken. Yes. All right, we have four boxes remaining. For Ken, let's shuffle them around and see what comes up. $2,900 in the pot. That's for sure, Ken. Well, I'll go in the middle with one word titles. One word titles for a block. It's a little harder. Ken, the 1912 comedy Pygmalion was eventually adapted into a Broadway musical starring Rex Harrison and Julie Andrews. Now, to block Barbara, I want you to tell me who wrote Pygmalion and then into which Broadway musical was it adapted. Think about that. <laughs> Ken, who wrote Pygmalion? I haven't the slightest idea. No guess? None at all. George Bernard Shaw. And into which Broadway musical was it adapted? My Fair Lady. So, Barbara, here we go. Four boxes remaining on the board. Let's shuffle and see what comes up for you. $2,900 in the pot, and you can add to it. Spelling in the middle to Spelling. Win. Earlier, that was a good uh, category right. for you. You did all right. What was the word you spelled earlier? Hyacinth. Hyacinth. You did all right. Now, this is a bit harder, but it's worth $300 in cash added to 
what we have in the pot now that would give you our championship and a total of $3,200. Barbara, here we go. Spell the correct plural form of the following words. First, brother-in-law. Then, crisis. Here's your extra time. <laughs> Barbara, for $3,200 in the championship, first, brother-in-law. Give me the correct plural form of that word. B-R-O-T-H-E-R-S-I-N-L-A-W. Right. And for $3,200, spell the correct plural form of crisis. C-R-I-S-E-S. -E yes! For Tic Tac Go! So it turned out to be brothers-in-law, of course, plural on brother, and crises, plural of crisis. Your crisis is just beginning, <laughs> Barbara. My As you become the champion, the crisis, you know, the, the crises kind of mount. Hey, congratulations to you. You picked Thank up you. for your efforts $3,200. You won that tie game uh, between you and Ken. Congratulations for Thank becoming you. our new champion. Feel pretty good? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Ken, you won $1,700 in uh, cash, right? All of that's in uh, cold, hard cash. And uh, you had a lot of chances to win, you know oh, that. She deserved it. But I tell you what, Ken, I want to, as you leave us with our $1,700, uh, wish the very, very best to you and your wife. You've been a marvelous champion, and good luck in your career with the Los Thank Angeles you. Police Department. Thank you. Terrific guy. Okay, Barbara, let's play the bonus game. Come on over. Oh, boy. Well, it's happening to you. It's happening. Let's see if you can add to that now. It, it seems easy sometimes. I guess at home it seems easy it to does. do. It Let's does. see how you do in person. Behind the numbers are various amounts of cash and a dragon. All you have to do, as you know, is get $1,000 or more. Jay Stewart's going to tell you what it'll mean to you. Listen carefully. Barbara, it's Tic-Tac-Toe's Island Getaway Package. First, before Tic-Tac-Toe sends you off to a familiar Pacific island, we want you to be able to take pictures of this Pacific paradise with your new 35-millimeter camera. This is the Yashica FR2 system, featuring the fully automatic FR2 camera with electromagnetic shutter and ever-ready case from Yashica. It's the newest generation of electronic photography. And you'll be right in style with this coral jewelry. Thing Crafts jewelry creations designed with classic beauty, reflecting the harmony of elegance and style, a handsome and unique original Primavera collection furnished by Dane Craft. And next, while you're relaxing on the beach, perhaps munching on a pineapple, you'll enjoy exotic Pacific Island music on this potable stereo entertainment unit from Quasar. Personal TV with AM, FM, stereo, and a stereo cassette player recorder. Another great idea from Quasar. And finally, Barbara, it's time to get away to the Pacific Island paradise, Tahiti! by beautiful beaches, beautiful lagoons, coconut palms, and an exotic island atmosphere you'll never forget. It'll be eight exciting days in the South Pacific island of Tahiti, furnished by Club Universe. And Barbara, this terrific Tahiti package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,100. Barbara, avoid the dragon or you lose everything. Get the kick and the tack and you know you automatically get the dough. Let's cover everything up on the board, move them all around. And this is going to be your first step in going to Tahiti, right? Right. Right. Let's think positive. Select a number for us, Barbara. Five. She likes the middle box. Look behind number five, Barbara. Do you like what you see? Take a look. Oh, oh my gosh. My kids all said five. Would you, li would you like to go back and do that over Let's again? Let's do it next time. <laughs> we didn't even get to say hello to the kids. Can we do that right quick? Let's take a look at it. Give us the names of the kids. First, let's... Well, you got two lovely little ladies. Right. On, with the ponytails. Yeah. On the left yeah. is Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. At a, a very small wave. We don't, we don't expect much more than that, because Mommy didn't win this time. And the other lady? Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Much, much nicer wave from Jennifer. Let's have a nice round of applause for two lovely ladies. How old are they? Jennifer is almost nine. Yeah, I forgot the son. I'm sorry. Like What's his son. name? His name's John. Hello, John. He's almost 13. Well, you got a great-looking family. Paper boy. Now, where's the hubby? 
Well, he had to fly this weekend. He's a pilot in the Marine Corps, and he had to get some flight time in. Well, I'll put it this way. He, wasn't, he wasn't here to see you win, but he also wasn't here to see you lose in the bonus game. Oh. So maybe it all worked out. Let's look at the rest of the board. You got the dragon on the very first call right in the center. A lot of times it's not behind that center one, number five. There was the tick and the tack right down there between eight and nine. However... You're doing all right because with your first big win, you got $3,200. All of that's in cash with the right to continue playing. We'll meet a new opponent for Barbara as she continues her quest to continue as champion right after these words. Who is it? That's my pleasure, Wink. He's a college administrator who's also been a teacher. And he once spent two years living in Nigeria. Meet Tom Parrish. Hiya, Tom. Hi, Wink. Good to see you. You lived in Nigeria. Tell us, what, what's, what's it like there? Well, um, I was up on the edge of the desert, the Sahara, and it was hot and dusty, dry. I gather you didn't go there for the climate. No, no, I was over teaching Nigerians who were going to become teachers, and I enjoyed the work. It made me feel pretty good. Now you're working as a college administrator. Tell us about that. What do you do? Well, we have a program where we try and place college students uh, into areas in public policy where they can use their talents and academic backgrounds Very good, uh, in the community. It's nice to have you here. Well, you Thank say you. we play some tic-tac-toe. Okay. Heavy money at uh, stake. You saw that with Barbara's game. Yeah, I know. Here are the subjects you're going to deal with. We are playing with botany, magazines, U.S. history, names the same, animals, television stars, numbers, colors, and dropouts. And Barbara, you go first. Okay, let's take um, numbers in the lower left. Numbers it will be. Barbara, the number of original astronauts, the number of voyages of Sinbad, and the number of deadly sins are all the same. What's that number? Seven. Right. Number seven. Put an X there and let's shuffle them all around. Let's move those categories. $200 a pot, Tom. Um, is that magazine in the center? That's correct. Is that I'll what you like? that, sure. Checks the board very carefully. Comes up with the center box. The subject, magazines. Of the ten American magazines with the largest circulation, six are women's magazines, Tom. And I want you, after you take some time, to name two of them. Think about that. <laughs> Tom, out of the ten American magazines with the largest circulation, six are women's magazines. For the center box, name two of them. Ladies Home Journal. Right. McCall's. Right. Very good. So we put an O there and shuffle the categories around. Add $300 to the pot for $500. Just for your information, the other ones are Better Homes and Gardens, Family Circle, uh, Ladies Home Journal, Good Housekeeping, McCall's, and Women's Day. That's all six of them. Okay, Barbara, go. Okay. Um, yeah. Barbara? Let's try colors. Colors, okay. Here's your question, Barbara. This glass building, in which the temperature is carefully maintained, is used for cultivating tender plants or growing plants out of season. What's the colorful name for this building? A greenhouse. You're right. Put an X in colors and shuffle the categories. Mr. $700 in the pot. Tom, your turn. Well, Wink, we'll try numbers up there in the left-hand okay, corner. Okay, here's your question for numbers, and, of course, you're going for a block. This classic 1968 film pitted an astronaut against a computer named Hal. According to the title, in what year does this space odyssey take place for a block? 2001. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so we put an O there, and we'll be back right after these commercial words. All it quits, come to a screeching halt for this edition of Tic-Tac-Doe, but we'll pick up with the board just where it is with a $900 total. And we've got a good game going. We have two X's and two O's up there, so either one of you can win. And we'll see you next time, okay? okay. Tom, good. good luck. Barbara, continued Here. success to you. Thank you. Give your husband our best. Get him on the phone. Tell him you're doing all right. You're winning right. some money. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye. They thought they were just everyday game show hosts until they realized they have incredible powers. The power to make cash replicate. He's won a quarter million dollars. To cause spontaneous explosions. To disintegrate with a glance. And of course, his powers are obvious. There are heroes among us tonight, starting at 7, 6 central, only on GSN. Save the game, save the world. 
It's the start of the second season of everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's our host, Wink Martindale. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, welcome to Tech Chat Joe. Let's get this game underway now because we have exciting uh, two players. Let's meet them right now. Jay, if you will, please. Okay, Wink, here's our current champion who's winning his today cash and cash in total is exactly $6,500. A housewife and a mother who's married to a Marine Corps pilot. Meet Barbara Vogue. 